India has dismissed the claim made by Maldivian Defence Minister, alleging that Indian military helicopter pilots stationed in the Maldives carried out an unauthorised operation in 2019. Defence Intelligence Agency DG Lieutenant General DS Rana is visiting Tanzania, and the two sides will discuss defence exports to Tanzania and the African continent. The Indian Air Force tested portable cubes for airdrops from C-130J aircraft so that the portable hospital can be deployed to cater to emergencies anywhere. Mazagin Dock Shipbuilders has launched the prototype of its Arawana indigenous midget submarine, that has been developed as a proof of concept. Mazagin Dock Shipbuilders is working on the development of design of full-scale indigenous conventional submarine by 2028. The Indian Army has inducted 1,080 switch UAVs from Indian firm Hydroforge. Both the German ThyssenKrupp Marine Systems and Spanish Navantia have offered indigenous content of 60% from the very first submarine offered under Project 75i. The chairman of Bharat Forge has said that the company is developing a light tank weighing under 25 tons for the Indian Army and will also develop main battle tanks in the future if required. An Indian Navy ship has docked in Kenya, and delivered relief items food and medical aid to support victims of floods in the country. Indian and Armenian defence delegations met in Armenia to bolster bilateral and defence ties between the two countries. Following the submission of a formal bid by Dassault Aviation, the Indian Navy is finalizing its report on the proposal to acquire 26 Rafale Marine fighter jets. With the Navy's report nearing completion, negotiations on cost and other terms with France will start soon. The government-to-government -government deal is valued at approximately $6 billion, that involves the direct purchase of these aircraft bypassing a lengthy tender process. At a time when Russia has offered its Su-35 aircraft under MRFA program to India, Russia's United Aircraft Corporation has said that the latest Su-35s have passed ground and flight trials, which is a deeply upgraded super-maneuverable multi-role fighter jet of Generation 4 Plus Plus designed with fifth-generation technologies. It features new digital avionic complex, a new radar with passive phased antenna array, plasma ignition fifth generation jet engines of increased capacity and controllable vectoring, and it can develop supersonic speed without afterburner. Defense Minister Rajnath Singh has said that India will soon start construction of its third aircraft carrier that will have the same size of INS Vikrant. He also revealed that India will not stop at three carriers, and will construct six more aircraft carriers, and this statement comes at a time when China continues to build a multi-carrier force, and aims for six carriers by 2030. US media has reported, that the Biden administration is on the verge of green-lighting an agreement for General Electric to start the production of F-414 jet engines in India, and that this arrangement is anticipated to be formally unveiled during President Joe Biden's meeting with Prime Minister Modi on 22 June. Today's Top 3 Comments